I suppose that the classification of reserves depends on the motivations of the person that's classifying them. Sort of keep people guessing in a way, keep them off balance. Most numbers that you will see around the world that lead to these numbers that we were talking about include proven plus probable, and sometimes even possible. In fact, the public data is extremely misleading and misunderstood. OPEC exaggerated how much oil it's, it's got left for all sorts of political reasons. You know, this is an old story. Casting doubt on the numbers of reserves in the Middle East as published. In 1985, Kuwait overnight added 50% to its reserves. At that time, the OPEC quota, that is the percent, the amount of oil that each of the OPEC countries could produce was based on the reported reserves. So the more you reported, the more you could produce. Two years later, Venezuela doubled its reserves overnight, and that caused the other countries, and finally Saudi Arabia, to announce enormous increases overnight simply to protect their production quota. And these numbers have not changed since. And it's absolutely implausible to imagine that the numbers should say the same when they're all the time producing. I've asked them that, that same question. You know, you, you produce eight or nine million barrels of oil a day, and at the end of the year, the reserves are the same as they were you know, at the beginning, as the same as they were 10 years ago, he said, well, that's our plan. That's our plan. You know, we, we produce this oil, and then we, we prove up reserves to offset uh, the oil that we've produced during the year. So at the beginning of the next year, our reserves are exactly what they were, you know, the year before. Well, whether you believe that or not, I don't know, but that's, that's what they say. That's what they say. It's their plan. That's the way it works. <laughs> uh, OPEC uh, countries do not care about what might happen about, uh, uh, from now, 20 years from now, or 30 years, or 40 years from now. They care about what they get now, today. Because uh, these are politicians, they want more money, more money to spend, rationally or irrationally, whatever it is, but they, they have budgets, and they became prisoners of their budget. What may happen 20 years from now, by that time they are dead. They don't care. 